Hello everyone, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com and welcome to part three, the final part of our Benjamin Von Wong edit. Now in case you guys missed part one and part two, let's do a brief recap. Now in part one, our good friend Ben gave us this great image from his Dead Sea shoot. We got the raw file, we brought it into Lightroom, and we kind of went with a more cool and ethereal vision as we described it, and created this effect using the Lightroom 4 preset system. Now at this point there were a few things that we actually needed to do in Photoshop. So we brought the file into Photoshop, we then retouched out basically the flyaways in the hair, we pulled up her chin line just a tiny bit, and then we also added some layers and adjustment layers to kind of emphasize that more ethereal glow and feel to the image. Now we're bringing this PSD file back into Lightroom 4, and what we're going to do at this point is what I like to call making some refried beans. Actually, I don't know why I used a southern accent for that, because that shouldn't really be a southern food, and hopefully nobody's offended right now. But if you are, I'm sure I'll hear about it. Guys, I'm just playing around. Let's get going. But the reason why I like to call this refried beans is because we're basically taking a single image and reprocessing it multiple times. Now, in this process, we do need to be careful because every time you reprocess an image, it's going to degrade a bit in quality. So we want to make sure that what we're doing is very subtle. We're not making huge sweeping changes. We just want to give it an overall polished look and feel. So at this point, let's hit F twice so I can full screen my view, get a little bit more screen real estate. And what I want to do is just apply a single preset. And since this is a portrait, it's uh, the color's already good on it. I want to keep it kind of on the softer side anyway. I'm just going to select my soft uh, portrait standard color preset. And you can already see this does a great job of kind of tying everything together, uh, giving it kind of a just a, a more slightly more polished look and feel to it. Now, what I'm going to do at this point is kind of finish that up by going in number one. If you guys, by the way, don't like the um, kind of the edge effect, it does a little bit of additional lens vignetting, uh, reverse vignetting basically with that preset. If you don't like it, you can always just pull the amount back down to zero and it'll pull it back. I kind of think it works fine with that effect, but either way, it looks fine. It's very subtle either way, so it doesn't really matter. What we're going to do to finish this up now is I'm going to go to my graduated filter and uh, we're going to go and select number 43, the special effect for heavy desharpening. I'm going to pull this along the side and it's just going to kind of finish that overall kind of ethereal effect that I'm going for, just to kind of slightly blur the edges. We can go all the way and pull a little bit past her. Just want to make sure she doesn't get too soft, so I'm going to zoom in and just make sure she's good. Yep, she's fine, she's sharp, and everything's good. At this point, guys, I'm going to call it done. I'm really happy with where we ended up with this image, and what I often like to do when I get to this point is, this was one single vision for this for this look, but it also would work really well in black and white. So I'm just going to make a virtual copy by hitting Control apostrophe or Command apostrophe on a Mac. I'm going to hit V. We're going to flip it to black and white. I'm going to add just a tiny bit more blacks by dropping it, add a bit more contrast, and pull up the exposure one click. And there is our final black and white version as well. So it's a very quick kind of adjustment we can make just to make you know a new version of that image in black and white. Again, there were a million ways to basically process this image, guys, and this was just kind of our vision and where we went on this photographic adventure. But let's check out the beginning shot and let's kind of go through and click and see what we started with. So here was our starting shot, and here is basically where we ended up. So you can check that out again. Here's the before. Here is our after. And here is also the black and white version of that same image. So hopefully you guys enjoy this little photographic journey that we've been on here. Uh, maybe you guys feel a little closer to me. I feel a little bit closer to you. I'm just kidding, guys. Whatever. Anyway, I wanted to thank Benjamin Von Wong for giving us this raw file to work on. We hope you guys have enjoyed this little series, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.